Hello student, in the last video we complete question number 1 of the exercise 2.1. Now in this video we will see again the exercise 2.1 and the remaining questions of this exercise. I hope that you will understand all the questions very clearly. Now let us see exercise 2.1 remaining questions that is question number from the 2. Now let us start. State the sine of tan of 360, that is a sorry, tan of 380, tan of 380 is equals to 360 plus 20. And now 360 means what one complete rotation and plus 20, and it comes in the first quadrant. And all the trigonometric functions in the first quadrant all are positive, and therefore tan of 380 is positive. That is tan of 20. Now I had written that is the tan of 2 pi plus 20. Whenever there is a pi angle integral multiple of the pi angle, the function remains as it is. Therefore, tan of 20 is the it is in the first quadrant and it is a positive. Now next is a Cot of 230. Now see this again. That is a 180 plus 50. We can write in this fashion. That is a pi plus 50. And it comes in the third quadrant. In third quadrant, tan and cot both are positive. In first quadrant, all are positive. Second sine and third is tan and and last is cos and therefore it is a positive that is a cot of 50 again i had written that is a cot of pi plus 50 now next is a sec of 468 now this 468 can be written as in this manner that is a 360 plus 108 now see this 360 means one complete rotation and it comes again 108 means 90 plus that is a 108. Therefore, it comes in second quadrant and in second quadrant it is negative because sec is reciprocal of the cos and in second quadrant only the sign is positive. State the sign of cos of 4 radian and cos of 4 degree. Which of these two functions is greater. Now see this. Cos of 4 degree is in the first quadrant and in the first quadrant all are positive. Now 4 radian can be expressed in the form of the degree. Therefore, we have seen in the first chapter that is radian is converted into degree by multiplying 180 upon pi and the value of pi is 22 upon 7 it becomes multiplied and reciprocal therefore it becomes a 4 into 7 into 180 upon 22 and simplify it you will get this value that is a 14 into 180 upon 11 now again the simplification that is a 2520 upon 11. Now again we can write their division that is a 229. Now it comes in third quadrant and in the third quadrant the cos is negative. Now see this the geometry in third quadrant cos is negative therefore it is a negative therefore cos of 4 radian is a negative but what about the cos of 4 degree it was the positive therefore the cos of 4 degree is a greater than the cos of 4 radian and one is negative that is the cos of 4 degree is positive and cos of 4 radian is negative state the quadrant in which theta lies if this happens Again, this is very simple. Sine is negative, tan is positive. This happens only in the third quadrant. Therefore, theta lies in third quadrant. 
we require the sign positive. Where this happens? This happens only in the third quadrant. Now next, that is a cos is negative and again that tan is positive also this happens in the third quadrant and tan theta is positive this happens in the third quadrant it's very simple therefore theta lies in third quadrant question number five evaluate each of the following that is sin 30 cos of 45 tan of 100 and 180 now see this i find out the values you remember these two triangles these two triangles are very important 30 60 90 and 45 45 90 side opposite to angle 30 is 1 hypotenuse is 2 and side opposite to angle 60 is a root 3 now see this 45 45 1 1 root 2 now you can find out the value of any trigonometry functions by using you must know the first of all the definition of that trigonometry that is now see this here sin 30 means opposite side upon hypotenuse that is 1 by root 2 cos 45 again adjacent side upon hypotenuse and what about the tan 180 now see this tan 180 it comes on the x axis and the coordinate of the point p is x comma 0 and the definition of the tan theta is y upon x and y is 0 there therefore 0 upon x is 0 therefore tan of 180 is 0 now see this these are the quadrantial angles therefore 1 by root 1 upon 2 plus 1 by root 2 now simplify this by multiplying it with the rationalizing factor root 2 to the denominator therefore it comes that is now we will simplify this that is 1 plus root 2 upon 2 therefore its a value is 1 plus root 2 upon 2 now the next value again see the triangle 45 45 90 1 1 root 2 cosec 45 it's a reciprocal of the sine and sine 45 is 1 by root 2 and therefore cosec 45 is root 2 upon 1 cot 45 is 1 it's a reciprocal of the tan and what about the tan 0 now see the value of tan of 0 now see this my terminal goes on the x axis whose coordinate is x comma 0 and the definition of the tan is y upon x there x is 0 the y is sorry y is 0 0 upon x therefore tan of 0 is 0 therefore root 2 plus 1 and overall you are getting that is the root 2 plus 1. Now see this. Its a value is a root 2 plus 1. Now the next sin 30 into cos of 45 into tan of 360 again by using the 30 60 90 and the side opposite to angle 30 is 1 hypotenuse 2 opposite 60 is root 3 and 1 1 root 2 therefore we can substitute the value sin 30 into cos of 45 into tan of 360 our main job is to find out the interesting value of tan of 360 which is a quadrantial angle that is 1 upon 2 into 1 upon root 2 and tan of 360 now see this how i had find out it now see this there is one complete rotation the terminal comes on the x-axis 
and the coordinate of the point P is uh, x comma 0 and the definition of the tan is y upon x y is 0 there therefore tan of 360 is 0 and hence we will substitute its value that is now see this it's a value therefore the final answer is 0 now see this number 6 now the question number 6 find all the trigonometry functions of angle in the standard positions whose terminal passes through the point 3 comma minus 4 now this point lies in the fourth quadrant now see this i how i had find out it first of all find out the value of this terminal that is r is equals to in root of x square plus y square and that's come r is equals to in root of 3 square plus 4 square that is a root of 25 is 5 now x is 3 y is minus 5 and r is equals to 5 now by using the standard definition of the trigonometry functions in terms of x and x y and r that is a sin theta is equals to y upon r now the values that is a minus 4 by 5 it's a reciprocal r upon y that is a minus 5 by 4 now the next is cosec theta is equals to minus 5 by 4 now the next value that is a cos theta is equals to x upon r this is the basic definition that is the 3 upon 5 therefore sec theta is equals to r upon x that is 5 by 3 and hence that is a cos theta is equals to 3 by 5 and the sec theta is equals to 5 by 3 now the next is tan theta is equals to y upon x y is minus 3 my y is minus 4 minus 4 upon 3 therefore tan theta is equals to minus 4 by 3 now the value of the cot theta it is a reciprocal of the tan that is equals to x upon y that is a 3 upon minus 4 and overall it comes minus 3 by 4 now the next values that is a sin square theta minus cos square theta upon 2 times sin theta into cos theta and now theta lies in second quadrant we have given that in first quadrant all are positive second sine, third tan and last is cos now what we have given that is a cos theta is equals to 12 upon 30 now theta lies in second therefore cos of theta is negative there now our next job is to find out the value of sine theta now here we will apply the identities that is a sine square theta plus cos square theta is equals to 1 after simplification you are getting that is 169 minus 144 is upon 169 that is a 25 upon 169 and that's why sine square theta is equals to 25 upon 169 and hence that is a sine theta is equals to plus or minus 5 upon 30 but theta lies in second quarter in second quarter only sine is positive and that's why sine theta is equals to 5 by 30 Now we will see their values.
tan theta is equals to sin theta upon cos theta and here you do not require to decide again their values because we have already filtered their values of the sin and cos by using we will get their final answers which is a minus 12 minus 5 by 12 therefore here you do not require to again decide what is the tan in that quadrant because we have already filtered the value of sin theta and the cos theta according to their quadrant now next is sin square theta minus cos square theta upon two times upon two times sin theta into cos theta substitute the values and simplification only there that is a 5 upon 13 bracket square minus in bracket minus 12 upon 13 bracket square 2 into sin theta that is a 5 upon 13 minus 12 upon 13 and that comes that is a 25 upon 169 144 upon 169 and it comes their multiplication is a minus 120 upon 169 now normal simplification is there base of both numerators are same therefore it comes that is a 25 minus 144 upon 169 minus 120 upon 169 169 69 get cancelled and you are getting the minus 119 up upon 169 into minus 169 upon 120 and the final answer is 119 upon 120 therefore sin square theta minus cos square theta upon two times sin theta into cos theta that is 119 upon 120 I had corrected this answer from the textbook you see that in the textbook I hope that I say that there may be wrong in the sign but I had corrected my answer now next is 1 upon tan square theta that is 1 upon minus 5 upon 12 bracket square I forget to write the bracket square that is 1 upon tan square theta is 144 upon 25 now using the tables evaluate the following Now again we know that the values that is 30, 60, 90 that triangle you remember this triangle number of the times that is side opposite to angle 30 is 1, side opposite to angle 60 is root 3 and 45, 45, 90 that is 1, 1, root 2. Now we will substitute their values. Accuracy is important by using the silly mistake we if you substitute their values wrong then whole answer becomes the wrong therefore every time you require very highly concentration to the point add substituted its value is correct or wrong is there my calculation is correct or wrong therefore sincerity is required there now next is a cos square 0 plus cos square pi by 6 and cos square pi by 3 and cos square pi by 2 now here I am repeating there cos of pi by 6 means 30 because you are from the now 10 standard in 10 standard you have the only the value 30 60 90 but here pi comes and that's why I had written that is a pi by 6 means 180 upon 6 that is equals to 30 by 180 upon 3 means 60 and 180 upon 2 means what and the 90 now here one more definition of the cos of 0 now this angle point p point p is on the x-axis and it's a coordinate is what is the coordinate of that the coordinate is x comma 0 now see this the value cos of 0 
is 1 there because it is a x upon r and x is equals to r therefore r upon r that is equals to 1 therefore cos of 0 is 1 what about the cos of 90 now see this the point is on the y axis and therefore it is a but cos of 90 is x upon r x is 0 there therefore cos 90 is 0 there now see this now here We will substitute the values cos of 0. I make small mistake is there, but I am correcting it. The value of the cos of pi by 6 is root 3 by 2 bracket square, cos of pi by 3 is 1 upon 2 bracket square, and cos 90 is 0. Now I am correcting it. Till I had written that value is 0. Now, when I comes to conclude it and check it, and I remember, I noticed that I had written the value is 0, but it is the 1. Now, I am correcting it. 1, 1, 1, and 1 plus 1 is 2, and therefore, final answer is 2. Therefore, by mistake, something, there may be the the wrong answer. Find the other trigonometry functions if the cos of theta is equals to minus 3 by 5 and theta lies in third quadrant. Now see this. What is the definition of the cos theta is x upon r? x is equals to 3 and r is equals to 5. Now next my job is to find out the value of y. Okay. And that y comes 16 and y is equals to plus or minus 4 but this point lies in the third quadrant and in third quadrant x and y both are negative okay x and y both are negative both are negative x is minus 3 and y is minus 4 and now see this and r is equals to 5. Now using these three values you can get the correct answer. Now the basic definition I always say it is a basic definition that is sin theta is equals to y upon r that is a minus 4 by 5. Now here you do not require to again say that the sign is negative already it is negative there that is a sin of theta is equals to minus 4 by 5. Because we have decided that point is in the third quadrant, therefore it is not necessary to decide again that it is in the third quadrant, it has negative and negative, negative become positive, therefore your answer will be wrong there. Now cosec theta is r upon y, that is a 5 upon minus 4, that is a cosec theta is minus 5 by 4. What about the cos theta is x upon r, therefore x is minus 3 upon 5, therefore cos of theta is minus 3 by 5. Sec theta is r upon x, which is a minus 3 by 5 by 3. Therefore, sec theta is a minus 5 by 3. Tan theta is y upon x. Now, here directly comes tan theta positive here. Now, see this. And the quadrant is third also. Now, see this minus 4 upon minus 3. It becomes plus. Therefore, we do not require to assign there again plus sign. It directly comes because we have already decided in third quadrant x is negative and y is negative. Therefore, here do not require to decide. Directly your answer comes. If sec a is equals to minus 25 by 7 and a lies in second quadrant. Now, this is the second quadrant. In second quadrant, x is negative and y is positive. We can find out the values of this trigonometry function by using the identities also. But instead of identities, we can also apply here. Now, what is the sec of a is r upon x? Because it is a reciprocal of the cos. What is the cos of theta is x upon r? It's a reciprocal. Therefore, here we have the value x is equals to 7 r is equals to 25. Now, we want to require find out the value of y. 
Now, what is the value of y? That is x square plus y square is equals to r square. Now, 7 square plus y square is equals to 25. And that's why 625 minus 49, that is a y square is equals to 576. And it's a square root is plus or minus 24. Now, I want to decide the sign of the x and y in the second quadrant. Now, a is in the second quadrant. x is negative and y is positive. Therefore, x is equals to 7 and y is equals to minus 24. X is, equal, x is negative and y is positive. That is the y is 24. X is minus 7 and y is 24. And r is equals to 25. Now we can find out all the trigonometric values. And here you do not require to again assign the values. Your sign will be directly comes. Now what is the sign a? Here is y upon r. Which is 24 upon 25. <coughs> Therefore, its answer is sine of A is equals to 24 upon 25. What about the cos of A? It is X upon R, which is minus 7 upon 25. And therefore, its sign comes. Now, see this cos is negative in the second quadrant, sine is positive, we have come to positive. Tan of A is equals to Y upon X. But what is the Y? 24 x is minus 7 therefore it comes negative yes it is negative in the second quarter therefore you do not require to again decide their values but your point is in the second quarter therefore x is negative and y is positive that's why cosec a is equals to 25 upon 24 sec a is equals to minus 25 upon 7 and the cot of a is equals to minus 7 upon 24. Now next is cot x is equals to 3 by 4 and x lies in the third cot. Now again this is the third cot and cot is positive already there. Now again we will find out the value of only we require here value of the r. Now there is angle is taken the small x therefore I am changing here that is the cortex is equals to capital X upon capital Y. Therefore, you do not have the confusion between uh, their letters. That is X is equals to 3, Y is equals to 4, capital Y is equals to 4, capital R is equals to question mark. Therefore, I had written that is X square plus capital X square plus capital Y square is equals to capital R square. That is a 3 square plus 4 square is equals to capital R square. Therefore, capital R square is equals to 25. And therefore, R is equals to 5. We will say that why it is not plus or minus because r is a terminal, its length is always positive, therefore r is equals to 5. Now see this x is a x lies in third quadrant, both x capital X and capital I both are negative. Therefore, our point that is a minus 3, minus 4, and the value of r is 5. Now we will write all the values of the trigonometry functions. Sin x is equals to y upon r capital Y upon capital R that is a minus 4 Y 5 and it's a reciprocal is cosec X minus R upon Y that is minus 5 by 4 now see this next cos X is a capital X upon capital R substitute the values you will get the direct sign you do not require to again decide the values because we have decided the point is in the third quarter. Don't make mistake. That is a cos x is equals to minus 3 by 5. And it's a reciprocal. Sec x is equals to minus 5 by 3. Next is a tan x is equals to capital Y upon capital X. Here directly automatically you will get tan positive because both are negative here. Already the value of the tan is given there. But till we are finding its value. That is minus 4 upon minus 3. Therefore, tan of x is equals to 4 upon 3. Therefore, tan x is equals to 4 upon 3. What about the cot? Cot is reciprocal of the tan. And hence it's a value. Now, the next is tan x is equals to. Again, here is the angle is a minus. The angle is a small x. That is a minus 12 upon 5. Tan x is equals to minus 5 upon 12. X lies in the fourth cot. Okay, in the fourth quadrant, only the cos is positive, tan is negative already. 
the sign is correct. Now see this here. Now the tan of x is equals to y upon x. Because already their angle is a small x, therefore we are treating capital X and capital Y. Find out the value of the R. That is R square is equals to x square plus y square. That is the 12 square upon 5 square. That is 144 upon plus 25. That is 169. And therefore R square is equals to 169. R is equals to 13. Now all the values. Now x lies in that angle lies in the fourth quadrant. In fourth quadrant, x is positive and y is negative. See this. x is 12, y is minus 5 and r is 13. This is the point. Now you will get the direct answer. That is sin x is equals to their basic definition of capital Y upon capital R minus 5 by 13 and sin x is equals to minus 5 by 13. And it's a reciprocal. See this reciprocal. There is a cosec x that is equals to minus 13 upon 5. Therefore, see this. Its value is minus 13 by 5. And next is cos x that is a capital X upon capital R that is a 12 upon 13 cos is positive in the fourth quadrant therefore it is already there that is a 12 upon 13 now the next sec see this that is a cos x is equals to 12 upon 13 and it is a reciprocal sec x that is a 13 upon 12. Now the next is a tan x is equals to y upon x that is a minus 5 upon 12. Therefore its value directly comes minus 5 by 12. Cot its a reciprocal that is a x upon y that is a minus 12 by 5 and hence the answer. Now we have completed the exercise 2.1. Now we will see in the next video of the exercise 2.2 till then goodbye i hope that uh, you have understood all the questions that which i have explained again if you have any doubt you write in the comment box i will talk, try to solve your doubts at the same time if you are new for this channel then subscribe it share it with your needy friends and like it now we'll see in the next video. Till then, goodbye.